Hey guys, we have yet another wireless CarPlay adapter over here, but this time there's something uh, something different about this device. So here it is, and it claims to work both with CarPlay and Android Auto. So the device looks like this, it's shaped a little bit like a vehicle. We have a standard USB here at the back and we have USB-C at the front. There are two LED indicators and I believe that's basically it when it comes to the device. Well, let's check what's else here in the box. We have USB to USB-C cable. We have USB to USB-C adapter if your vehicle is uh, equipped with USB-C uh, port. And we have user manual. Okay, so uh, right now let's connect it to my Golf Mark 7. You can see that uh, right now I have my phone connected through the wired connection and this is the one required thing for this uh, for this device to work in your vehicle. This is a wireless, wired to wireless adapter. So your car needs to be working with CarPlay when your phone is connected via USB cable. Only then you can use one of those devices. We will not need the user manual. Let me just show you that this device is called AI Linkbox A7. And right now I'm going to disconnect, disconnect my phone and we are going to connect this device. And the installation is very simple. All you need to do is plug in the USB cable on the one side to your vehicle and on the other side to this device. So let's check how quick it will boot up. We have some red indicator over here already. So I believe it will take about 15 or 20 seconds to fully load and oh here, is the interface and we have both CarPlay and Android Auto icons over here and um, my phone is already paired with this device so right now oh right now we can see the CarPlay interface so we can see how quick you can get into CarPlay after um, uh, powering powering up this device and the, the initial powering was fairly easy all you need to do is uh, um, of course connect this device to your vehicle then find it uh, through your phone in uh, in a Bluetooth devices list and connect with it and as soon as you allow and uh, pairing the connection you will have your CarPlay interface on your display. There are five things that I want to check when uh, getting a new uh, wireless adapter like this one. So the first thing is how quick it boots up, how quick will it start after after powering it up and over here we have about 20 seconds which is fairly good and the second thing is uh, user interface controls uh, we want to check if all the control options are working so we have touch input which works over here we have control knob which also works over here maybe let's play something a little bit quieter uh, steering queen controls uh, can we skip tracks Yes, we can skip tracks. Um, can we fast forward? Yeah, we are fast forwarding. And other two things are voice uh, control options. So let's press and hold over here. What time is it right now in Dubai? It's 11.50 in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates. Okay, and the last thing is voice control, but triggered by my voice. So let's lock the phone. Let's place it like this. Screen down and... Hey Siri, what time is right now in Tokyo, Japan? In Tokyo, Japan, it's 16.50. Okay, so it looks like all the control options over here are working as expected. And right now let's try wireless range. So volume up, music paused. I'm going to leave the vehicle and stand next to the trunk, like so. This is a usual situation. Let's play the music. And we can still hear it. So the wireless connection is working from here, which is um, uh, which is a fairly fairly decent range, I believe. You don't need much more. You will not leave your vehicle and go um, maybe let's pause it and go much further without uh, turning it actually off.
now let's check if we have some advanced settings so in the manual it states that when we are connected with the interface we can go into web browser and enter the IP address of the device and we will have some advanced settings like so so we can reset the device to factory settings we have some audio and video streaming modes we have delayed start which is very useful if the device boots up quicker than your infotainment system which can in some cases cause some um, uh, connection issues we can describe a problem if we have some and send a feedback uh, um, uh, feedback request and we have online update options and right now the software is up to date so we have uh, no um, nothing to install right now so we've tested the boot time we tested controls wireless range advanced settings and the fifth thing is additional features additional feature over here is wireless android auto well since i'm using an iphone i had to borrow an android phone from my friend to try it out and we had no issues both with the initial connection and with using the android auto interface so it was working correctly and um, we had a nice quality of sound we have voice controls and other things that you expect from android auto uh, interface so maybe let's talk pros and cons of this device first of all we have wireless android auto finally uh, second thing the boot up time is fairly low so i like that and the input lag is also fairly good fairly low keeping in mind that this is wireless connection with the with the phone I like that all the uh, steering wheel controls are working over here including fast forwarding the uh, current track and I like that the um, advanced settings over here are um, are featuring uh, feedback and also there are over the year updates and I have to say that the company that made this device is actually reading those feedback notes and they are improving this device the boot up uh, delay uh, feature for example was not available at first but uh, I gave them this feedback that I, I would like this feature to be implemented in this device and in a week or two I believe like 14 days later the new uh, firmware update was available over the air so I could update it from my uh, phone and um, one thing that you also should notice that this device supports both the CarPlay and Android Auto uh, wireless protocols, but it connects with your car only by the CarPlay protocol. So, for example, if you have a Porsche which does not support Android Auto from the factory, you can still use wireless Android Auto in your Porsche. So, this connects to your Porsche via the CarPlay interface but with your phone via the Android Auto interface so it will pass through this data to your vehicle even though your vehicle is not supporting Android Auto which is very cool I believe and now let's talk cons I have three small complaints first of all those LEDs are very bright and you cannot turn them off so unless you have a cubby that you can close like me you will see those lights uh, at night they are very bright second thing there's no GPS pass through over here I, I, I'm not sure if a lot of you are using GPS pass through basically it uh, passes through the GPS position of the vehicle to your phone and thanks to this your phone does not need to use the internal GPS um, receiver which saves the battery over here and uh, third thing is switching be between the CarPlay and Android Auto option to do this you have to tap on the Android Auto um, icon over here I know that uh, you most likely will do it just once to switch it um, between CarPlay and Android Auto based on which phone you are using but still I found this little bit buggy to tap it a couple times before it uh, acknowledges that you are actually um, uh, actually switching the uh, protocols okay so in the description below this video you will find a little bit more details about this device as well as link to aliexpress if you want to buy one of those and if you have any questions leave them in the comments section below that's it for today thank you for watching give me a thumbs up if you like this simple review and see you soon